Hey name tags, this is Ash from Heal My PC 99. If you've tried solution one when you receive CMOS checks on bad error message and it hasn't worked, see the link below or click the annotation in the vid, then you should probably consider changing your CMOS battery and I'm gonna show you how to do this in this vid. Make sure you have switched off your PC and unplugged everything. Probably a good idea to leave the mains power plugged in but switched off so you can ground yourself while you work on the PC. I'm gonna unplug the rest of the stuff. Um, it's just an extra precaution to do. Let's take a look in my case, shall we? On first inspection, you're gonna ask me, where is the CMOS battery? And even if I move these out of the way, it looks like it's nowhere to be found. But actually, it is hiding under this graphics card. So you should always try to find the manual for your motherboard if you can't find the CMOS battery. I have disconnected the PCI cable and there's a retention tab just underneath, just underneath there which is a bit hard to get to. I'm going to pull out the graphics card and here you go. This is the CMOS battery. Hope you can see that. So make sure you discharge yourself by touching the power supply which is plugged in but switched off and we're going to just release this. I'm using a small screwdriver but you possibly could use your thumb or your finger whichever works. So got myself a replacement one. These are quite cheap if you can get them on eBay. I got them in a pack of four and I'm just going to insert it. And hopefully I should do the trick so let's boot it back up so we boot it back up and hopefully the CMOS battery change would have done something we got movement and uh, don't worry about that the ID master that's a different story but the important thing here is that we've changed the CMOS battery we should now brilliant it's working it's booting into my server and there you have it guys quick fix now the CMOS battery is responsible for retention of things like time computer so if you see that your time when you boot up it's not matching up to the current time and you have to adjust it on your windows or on your whatever OS you're using it'd be a good idea to change your CMOS battery um, sometimes you probably need to go into BIOS setting to reload the default lovely jubbly my server is booting up quite nicely battery is changed so this was Ash from Heal My PC 99 and if you want to see more quick fix contents like these and a lot more tips and tutorials then give me a like dislike comment and give me a sub and i will be releasing a lot more videos in the future once again guys until next time peace out